Is child obesity a problem for you or someone you know? Well, listen up. Want to hear a fun fact? Child obesity is becoming a growing problem around the whole world. And in fact, in 2017 through 2020, 20% of American kids were obese. The problem is growing so much, it is considered a childhood epidemic. Also, according to the CDC's official YouTube channel, 70 to 80% of those obese children will grow up to be obese adults. That's not a very fun, fun fact. But despite those odds, you should make a change. Are you sick of being tired? Are you sick of being bullied? Do you want chiseled abs and massive arms? Well, let me introduce to you 5210 goal setting. But first, let's go over things. Pro tip. Only trained professionals can diagnose obesity in children. Otherwise, you can assume wrong assumptions and then you create unneeded stress and you can take like unneeded measures. The following can increase your risk of childhood obesity. Not getting enough sleep. Not getting enough sleep can throw off your hormone balance. This can cause your body to hold on to more fat than it needs. And it can also make you more hungry. Sporadic meal and snack times. Eating at sporadic times can throw off your body's internal clock. Eating right before bed encourages weight gain. Being raised in poor or middle class homes. Oftentimes they cannot afford fresh foods, and so they resort to high processed foods. Having unlimited screen time. Having unlimited screen time lowers your activity level and can encourage binge eating while watching. 40% of children ages 10 through 15 with over 5 hours of screen time are obese. With more screen time, you are also going to be more exposed to more ads, making you easier to succumb to buy or ask for yummy and not nutritious foods. Culture and home life. Normally it's not the kids who buy or make the food. Helping the kid will normally have to take an entire family to change. Replace unhealthy snacks with healthy but yummy snacks. Otherwise, it is proven that children will hide and binge eat foods more. And these can be precursors to eating disorders. So be really careful. But child obesity is more than just being overweight. It can put you at risk for high blood lipid profile, high blood pressure, Structural changes to the heart, asthma, sleep apnea, and fatty liver. Type 2 diabetes sets in faster in obese children than it does adults. Back to the 5210 goal setting. Every day you should aim to have five servings of fruit or vegetables, less than two hours of screen time, one hour of physical activity, and zero sugar sweetened beverages. Five. Adding vegetables and fruits to your diet is easy. You can add either into smoothies, you can add fruit and cereals, you can dip vegetables in dips, or you can dip other things in vegetable dips. Vegetables also go great in sandwiches. 100% uh, fruit juice is also another great option to increase your fruit intake. Two. There are many ways to limit your screen time. You can use software that will lock up your phone if you abuse too much screen time, or just the classic out of sight, out of mind. Just keeping your technology away will keep the temptations down. All bad habits must be replaced with good ones. So instead of your screen time, put in some other fan act fun activities that you dig. Being consistent is going to help you big time. It's going to motivate you. And as you learn to be more self-disciplined, di and you learn to control yourself. Things you've learned are gonna help you big time when you're trying to, your diet, and your physical training. One. 
one hour or more of physical activity can be huge, especially compared to the little amount of work you have to put in. So you can just try walking instead of driving or, or, and or you can join a sports team and sports teams are great because your team, your coach, all those guys, they're going to be able to help you to stay responsible and help you meet your goals. Zero. The goal is to have zero sugar sweetened beverages. Drinks are especially dangerous because it's like, it's just a straight shot of sugar right into your blood, which is less than ideal. So just try to replace that. You can replace that with 100% fruit juice or water because hydration is gonna be a big deal because the more hydrated you are, the less temptation you're gonna to have to drink pop or soda. Obviously child obesity is a real, actually big problem. These kids are set up to just have terrible health. Luckily this problem is 100% fixable. It just has to start with the kid and their family. Anyone can be healthy. And I hope the 5210 goal setting helps at least get you started.